Hello. I feel like I need to adjust myself because I have a chair now. Yeah, I have a chair now. It's from Ikea. Anyways, hello. Welcome to today's video, which this one's going to be a little different from like the other ones. I'm going to be doing this a lot. So like we all have to get used to it. But this one's going to be different from my other videos because I want to take a moment to focus on the journey that is my style. I'm going to focus on my style evolution we're also gonna have to ignore the other sounds i do have family members and one of them is a baby i took a lot of time to sit down and think about this video not really like maybe two hours which is actually the most amount of time i've ever taken to think about a video because usually whenever i film i'm like let's just set up the outfits and let's just go but today like i said it's different and i want to actually take a step back and look at a lot of my videos and things like that but basically we're gonna be doing a fashion reflection i wanted to find better words for that i wanted to find a word that like went like fashion and another f but there are many synonyms for the word reflection it's just like looking back reflecting and i'm like well that's not helping so anyways <laughs> Let's just jump straight into this with uh, when I originally got into fashion. I have my notes here, guys. Um, so I just want to start off by saying like, I've always liked dressing up and I've been dressing up since I was a baby. Well, technically that's my mom and my grandmother dressing me up. I've always been like styling and profiling, so. Besides when I first started dressing my own myself up and like shopping for myself, I mean, obviously that's gonna be an experimental time because I'm like, deciding on what I want to wear and purchasing my own clothes. So in the beginning, it was very like iffy and you know, you, you learn to love yourself and your past self because your past self is how you got to be who you are today. So thank you, past Kendall, for making the mistakes that you did so that I can dress how I dress now and feel very confident in the way that I dress now. I first started gaining inspo around the time where I was watching a lot of YouTube and a lot of fashion videos. I was watching a lot of, we're just gonna say this because I'm a, a black female. I was watching a lot of white female fashion bloggers because a, at the time, a lot of the, like the black female ones didn't really f cater that much towards how I wanted to dress. Of course, now there are a lot more black female fashion, not even just female, but a lot more black fashion icons that I follow. Not to say that they didn't exist back in uh, 2016, 2017. That's when I first got into high school and that's when I really was like, let's go, you know? <laughs> a lot of the black people that I was watching didn't cater towards my, my fashion. Now I see a lot more who cater towards alternative fashion and I love it. Not saying that they didn't exist before, like I said, but like now I see them and I know them. But like, that's when I first got into YouTube and then eventually in 2017, I got Instagram and I saw a lot more fashion styles and then categories for fashion. I was like, whoa, I didn't know this was called that and this was called that. A lot of people tend to say that social media is a bad influence on fashion, which I feel, yes, it can be, especially with, you know, fast fashion. Besides that, a lot of people say that social media can affect the way that you dress negatively, but honestly, for me, I feel like it affected it positively. It made me a lot more confident to like switch things up, try different styles and dress different from the norm that I was surrounded by. Not even to be like, oh, I'm not like any other girl. I went to a majority white school and not saying that every white girl dresses like this, cause I know that every white girl doesn't dress like this, but a lot of the white girls in my school would wear like crop tops and skinny jeans. Then if they weren't wearing that, it was like gym attire, like workout clothes. That's just a lot of what I saw. But like I saw a lot of the same styles over and over again. And I was like, you know what, I wanna be different i don't even remember i was influenced a lot by dodie the once youtuber now straight music music genius for a hot minute i wanted to dress like her like we can even look back at my instagram we'll, we'll do that later we'll look back at my instagram later but like i was definitely inspired a lot by her and the 
introduction to social media is definitely what inspired me to start getting dressed at first in a positive way yeah yeah Now this category, I wanted to name, sometimes it is just a phase because, you know the saying, like, mom, it's not a phase or whatever. Because even though at the moment it feels like it's not just a phase and this is something that you've been doing for your entire life, you realize like a year later that you aren't doing what you were doing last year. <laughs> Unless you are doing what you were doing last year. But in my case, I change every year. Not in who I am but in the way I dress it's like it shifts every year I mean I can say that I've been a part of the alternative community for a f like it's like a small little handful of years but I wasn't originally dressing like this when I got into fashion and you know you first when you first start getting dressed for yourself and your your parents aren't setting out your clothes for you anymore you know you're, you're a kid unless your parents are still setting up your outfits for you now you're a kid and you probably aren't even buying your own clothes yet and maybe you are but maybe like you bought one shirt and now you feel like this is like the biggest change of your life you first get into things and then once you try things out you know you may not like this thing but you may like the other thing and let's just say when i first got into fashion i was i, I was not dressing the way that i'm dressing today i wouldn't have half the courage to dress the way that I dress today. Little uh, 16 year old Kendall would not, well could not and would not be walking out the house with a mini little micro mini tiny little skirt on that uh, 19, 20 year old Kendall is today. I'm not 20 yet but like a lot of people like to say that I am 20 but I'm not 20 yet but a lot of people like to say that I am and I'm, I'm not. I still have a couple of months right? Okay, I have three months, but also like age can definitely affect the way that you dress. Um, I'm not even gonna get into that entire topic because that's like, that's gonna be a whole nother video about girls and the ages in which they dress as. And then a lot of people that you're surrounded by affect the way that you dress. Um, definitely, I feel like my friends, not like they had a large say in the way I dress, but like if my friends were to be different from how they are and not as accepting and open and like basically, if my friends were different and they weren't the friends that I have now, I don't know if I would be dressing this way because, you know, they also give me a lot of confidence and so does my family. My family and my friends have, you know, a big impact also. Definitely the people that you're surrounded by, the energy that you're surrounded by. A lot of people around me talk negatively about the way that I dress. Maybe I wouldn't be dressing this way. What you're consuming online and do like shows and all that stuff definitely affects the way that you dress. I had a lot of different like phases, phases of people that I watched and people that inspired me. Like, I was once into Dan and Phil. I still go back to them every now and then because they're the first people that I was watching religiously on YouTube and then like Kick the PJ and things like that. So when I was watching Dan and Phil, it was a lot of just graphic tees came into my wardrobe and then when i was watching dodi a lot of dresses and flowy things a lot more i, would, I don't want to say hyper feminine because it wasn't super hyper feminine i also started adding more glasses into my accessories because she wore a lot of like thin framed huge glasses i don't even know if i have any to show you right now just a lot of striped shirts a lot of high-waisted jeans i was wearing a lot of more warmer colors teddy coats I was wearing my Birkenstock slides a lot. I was wearing a lot of overall dresses. The amount of overall dresses I had, I had like 10 of them. What else? What are my, what are my other faces? I don't know. As of right now, I just feel like I've been dressing the same, but it's just evolved more because I've had the time to sit down and be like, yes, this is exactly like what I want. So I've been dressing like this for a while now, but I feel like it's stepped up each year, you know? I don't know what to name this part of the video because uh, I guess it's reflection time is what I could name it, I don't know. I'm, even though I've been reflecting this entire time. I just want to take the time now to go back and look at some of my outfits and the way that I used to be, okay? I was also really into velour, like velvet items. I had a lot of velvet shirts. And it was very hard for me to get rid of those because then eventually my family started buying me velvet shirts because they're like, oh, she likes velvet. Like, that's her favorite cloth. 
And then, like, when I was over the velvet shirts, I had, like, 20 of them, and I was like, how do I get rid of these? But actually, we're gonna start from how I dress now to then, like, later. I just wanna take a, a minute to look at my latest Instagram post, which is the one with, like, the trip on my C-skirt. I feel like right now I'm in my, like, darkest era of dressing. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But I literally said to my friend the other day, like, I want to be a modern, gothic vampire. <laughs> I don't know how to explain blame that i just said that randomly make it i don't know i don't i don't know i've been trying to include a lot more drapey clothing items in my wardrobe and a lot more like long skirts besides just mini skirts we want to get all the different lengths you know i want to dress like you know more gothic but also i want to include a lot more um what's the word what is the word something basics I also want to dress more like that. I think I want to dress more early 2000s, but futuristic. Like I want to include more of that type of clothing pieces into my wardrobe. And I've been seeing a lot of that, but it's also just because I could just be liking a lot of that and then getting more of that on my Instagram and that's, you know, how social media works. But I want to dress more like that. Like when I'd say like this photo is kind of like an essence of that. I feel like that is me trying to channel that, but not really the early 2000s, but make it futuristic and dystopian. That's, that's also another thing. But also I get a lot of people saying that I dress very steampunk and I get that sometimes. Like I remember, but like I wore like steampunk goggles and then I had like some tights on and I had some like wrist cuffs and it was very steampunky because I had like a button up on too and I like dressing like that too but like to a degree like not full on steampunk but somewhat let's go more back but like this I want to dress like this again there was a moment in time where I was just dressing like this constantly but I want to find more ways to dress like this besides just the same things over and over again but like I love the dramatic sleeves and like corsets and mini skirts and tights I love it especially with like a very big obnoxious boot that people love to be like you can walk in those yes i can but i love wearing outfits like that i want to include more of this in my wardrobe let's look at this when i was really experimenting with my fashion but like you see this like i was wearing like a little mini shirt and some rbg whatever cargo pants which i still love cargo pants to this day they're just not as big of a priority as they are in my wardrobe as they used to be I used to dress like this. Like, I don't even know how to explain this. This is when I first downloaded TikTok. A lot of people were dressing like this. A lot of people were doing like the tiny shirt, big pants, and like sort of chunky shoes. The Naked Wolf was like the thing. I was shopping at Urban Outfitters a lot around this time. Now, what, I don't have like a store that I mainly shop at now. I guess Trip NYC is the store that I mainly shop at, but not all the time, because um, let's also look at this photo. Um, this, I was still experimenting around this time too. These baggy jeans were something that I was wearing all the time. To this day, I do regret getting rid of them because like, I still like them. But I got rid of them because I didn't wear them for a while. And I was like, you know what, might as well get rid of them. But now I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> I just like don't have the energy to get dressed as much as I used to. And I, and I blame my job for that because takes all of my energy out of me. I was with this one, the one where I was in my 70s era. Definitely, I definitely had a 70s era. We can't forget that. A lot of warm colors, a lot of like little button up striped shirts. This is only 2018 Kendall. The evolve, the, the, the way that I've evolved. Oh, I remember the, the sweaters that I always used to wear. They were like really super soft sweaters that were like huge, like draping on me. Oh, and then I was doing the thing where you uh, wear striped shirts underneath like uh, graphic tees. I was doing a lot of that. We can't forget about that thing. Like that was a thing. And then you can even see the shift in my my wardrobe. I'm starting to wear more darker colors now and forget those warm tones. This is when I first got into BTS too. BTS definitely has had a big impact on the way that I dress. Like they made me more confident in the way that I dress I can say. Definitely more dark colors. And then I started getting more into eye girl. Definitely another one that uh, was a big inspiration. Basically, 2019, 2020, that was the shift. The big shift into what I am today. We need to, I need to have a video where I just go back and look at my old videos. Like, the ones that you guys can't see. <laughs> Anyways, I have to leave the house in five minutes. So we're gonna wrap up the video here. Um, but yeah, that was a little reflection back on my, my fashion. 
and I have to wrap this up really quickly because I have to leave for work in four minutes. It's weird seeing how much I've changed, not just personality wise, but like fashion sense wise. And I'm kind of glad that I have actual documentation of that with like YouTube and Instagram and all that. But yeah, thanks for watching. I know it was different and it was long, at least for me, it was basically 40 minutes, 40 to 50 minutes of footage that I have to go through now. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. I have to go be a barista now. I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.